women in a movie, older women especially, treated with respect and completely in control. 80 for Brady is a Hail Mary, Dean's List B in theaters only. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Thanks, Dean. I'm looking forward to both of those movies. You want to see mm, that football I one, I love too, right? Rita Moreno. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> well, this weekend and next weekend are bound to be fun for all in the RGV. All the time. Lifestyle host and executive producer Danielle Banda is in studio to let us know what's happening. Good morning, Danielle. I want to give you a save the date before we hop into this weekend. But first up, you guys, we in the Valley, of course, love to celebrate a variety of cultures. And one event is inspiring all the creative minds here in the 956. The Adult Folk Art Play Workshop is happening at the International Museum of Fine Art. And this is going to be a great event for the entire family to check out. This is your chance to see all kinds of different colors and shapes and textures just come to life in the form of unique pottery. And all are inspired by local Mexican techniques that are known in our particular region. Attendees that go are going to be able to have the chance to sculpt their own creations and just have fun, you know, using the work of their hands for art. Now, this event is actually happening next Sunday, the 12th. Like I said, save the date. Be sure to register for the workshop by visiting the imsonline.org for all the details. But right now, I hope you have a lot of energy for this weekend because the Harlingen Marathon is officially kicking off, which means we've got to get those running shoes up and ready to go. Now, this is happening in our gorgeous downtown Harlingen area and it's truly a community event with just different races for everyone to participate in. There's going to be a Boston qualifying full marathon if you so dare along with your option of taking part in a half marathon and then they've also got a four person or a two person relay and get this runners that participate are even going to get catering there on site when they finish. Pretty good reward right? You don't have to be a pro athlete though to join in on the fun. Anyone and everyone like I said can come on out and take part in helping shape our Rio Grande Valley into a healthier happier and and more active community. So be sure to sign up in advance at myharlingenmarathon.com and as always their team says take it one mile at a time. And lastly professional Mexican singer, musician, composer, writer, producer, he wears many hats, Jose Madero is making his way to the Rio Grande Valley. Fans from all across the 956 are so excited about this stop because it's in the RGV and it's part of his 2023 concert tour. A popular artist is going to be hitting the big stage over at the McAllen Performing Arts Center and tickets are going to go quick in anticipation of this. So if you're one of those who's eager to just check out the renowned singer live and in person this year in the RGV, then be sure to log into Ticketmaster.com to secure those seats. And like always, the Valley's got lots to offer, plenty to do from this weekend to next all the time. So we hope you get April to check out at least one of those great events. Um, I think we should all go to the pottery class and then, you know, <laughs> maybe make our own desk. I don't know. Let's get creative. Are you sure you don't want to participate in the marathon? We can do the fourth <laughs> the person fourth. relay. No, I said pottery. <laughs> hey, we can ask uh, Sydney from our sister station to yeah. Anchor our <laughs> relay team, and hey, we can make some progress there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you said pottery. Of course, Raina could make her own coffee cup. Oh yeah, she loves oh, coffee. Yes. Is that That'd pottery nice. like in the movie Ghosts? Like yeah, you make oh, it like that's yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. There we I've go. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I'm there, excited. here's your chance now, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Well, Definitely the marathon, good. like I said, is going to have food at the end. So oh, that's a reward. It's yes. a reward. Mm -hmm. And but taking first care have... of our heart as well with all this work. <laughs> yeah, out. tell them. Tell them about well, the heart. Well, so today is National Wear Red Day, so we're raising awareness about heart disease in women. And I think these events, you know, it's a, a good step into mm -hmm. taking care of our hearts by, you know, just getting all, breaking Definitely. the sweat and yeah. working little out. Little. Yeah. yeah. I know you, you said you started <laughs> working started, out. Like you got a mile in the other day. That's amazing. Oh, gosh. Next year, we'll be ready for the marathon. Yeah, I, I, I so. admire you. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so what's going on with weather? Is that marathon going to be a rainy one or good to go? Well, we are expecting mostly sunny conditions as we head into the next few days here across the valley. So we're starting off with some cloud cover. It's still quite cold outside. You are going to need the